Last night I went out with some friends to eat Mexican food. The waiter came over, took all eight of our orders, didn't write a single word down in her notepad, and she got all of our orders exactly correct. I'm sure you've had that same experience and wondered, how do these waiters have such powerful memories? Well, Russian psychologist Bluma Zigernik had that same exact thought. She studied the phenomena, and this is what she found. The brain does a much better job of remembering incomplete tasks than it does completed ones. So we call this the Zigernik effect. Here's how it can help you in your business. First, by avoiding procrastinating. If you trick yourself into simply starting a project by saying, I'll only work on this for a minute. I'll only work for 60 seconds and then I'm done. Your brain will have this open loop and you will be compelled to continue working until the project is completed. Second, when I was at the Mexican restaurant last night, I told all my friends, don't let me eat any more tortilla chips. I'm done, I'm already stuffed. 30 seconds later, my friend slapped my hand because I had reflexively grabbed some tortilla chips to keep eating. So when we have incomplete tasks, whether it's brainstorming new ideas for a project that's outside of our main revenue source or a big pile of tortilla chips sitting on the table in front of us, if we start it, our brain will keep us moving forward until that bucket of tortilla chips is completely empty. So avoid projects that are outside of the scope of your narrow focus that will pursue you or move you towards your aim. Third, and the final way that the Zigernik effect can help you, clear out your dang inbox. <laughs> the amount of times I see people on their phone, they have 500 unread text messages, 33,000 unread emails is unbelievable. The, all of those unread notifications, unaddressed tasks are sitting there in the back of your mind causing stress that's inhibiting your ability to make critical decisions in your business on the things that you need to be focused on. So close loops. The more loops you can close, the more energy and thoughtfulness you can put towards the open loops on the big rocks in your life.